Hey everybody, great to see you again <laughs> here on Side Week with your house church. So um, we just finished um, doing a teaching on Bartimaeus, Jesus healing the blind man, which turned into a bit of a prayer service for healing, which was kind of neat to see. A few weeks ago, uh, Dave, President Dave Hearn was here and he was talking about what God has been doing and we got really excited. It, today was just a great day to start to take some of the things we've been going after and, and doing that right in the church service. So hope you were there and um, it's cool. I've been hearing some testimonies coming in. My phone's ringing about some stuff that happened. Uh, there was some stuff in the, in the service about sinus being healed, um, this guy's knee and some other things that we just had a chance to give God praise for so so in all this I guess you might have some questions and so which leads us to our official question right Judd question question so the question I have maybe for you is this imagine if Jesus would come and he just like manifest right in front of you and uh, you had some issues going on in your life what you probably do and he he knew about that and he came to you and he said what do you want me to do for you uh, what would be your response and so I'd like for you to consider a little bit about what do you need Jesus to do for you and how you're going to answer that question. And we talked a little bit about answering that question has to kind of see where we're at. Is our circumstances just become too great uh, and it's kind of trumped our faith or are we going to allow uh, the faith of God to trump our circumstances? So this is what you can talk about in your house church and get prayer for at the end. But I'd love for you to hear uh, what, I'd love to hear what you have to say about what you need healing for or what you need Jesus to do for you and what you can do to make that happen. So I'd love for you guys to talk about that and figure out what your question is and then how to pray for one another. So please do that. So uh, a light bulb moment for me would have been, I think, when um, you know Jesus asked that question to Bartimaeus and Bartimaeus doesn't give him a whole bunch of reasons or, or about you know what 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 needs to happen or what his circumstances are about. He just he just tells Jesus what he needs and he comes under the authority of Jesus. There's something about allowing God to be God and then coming under that and saying, okay, so because you're my healer, I'm coming under your teachings, your ideas, your theology, and we have lots of reasons of why this stuff can't happen. But my light bulb moment is like, Chris, where in your life do you need to let, you need to bring your circumstances up to match the word of God again? Where in your life do you need to go and believe and come under the authority of Jesus, not under the authority of Chris or under the theology of Chris, but to move Chris from a place of his theology to the theology of Christ, to the mind of Christ. So we all got, got to grow in that area. But that was my light bulb moment is just, you know, where can I let God's authority rule over my life and how can I align myself to it? Lastly, um, the arrow, the application of today. Well, obviously, um, praying for healing. But uh, I shared there on the screen uh, in the sermon about the spectrum of faith, kind of where your faith is at. And there's doubt and there's like hope and there's expectancy and then there's like certainty. And those, those are all aspects of faith. Um, doubt, we mentioned, doubt asks questions so it can try to move forward. Hope asks questions to try to stay put. But where on the faith spectrum of doubt, hope, expectation, or certainty, where do you lie? That's kind of the application. I'd love for you to talk about where do you think you are on the spectrum and then share that with your house church. And the application part is what do you need from your house church to help you to take a step forward out of your comfort zone, risk a little more. What do you want to risk for and how can your house church help you? That's the application. So whatever you motivate is going to manifest. So what are you going to motivate in order to see the results happen? So that's it for the house church video. Next week is down week, so maybe as you close out for your evening, make sure that you just tackle that subject about what you're gonna do next week for down week, where you're gonna go serve in the community. Hopefully you have some ideas. We'd love to see you out there blessing our community, making it an award-winning town. Thanks guys, have a great day.